Hey everybody, I'm Daniel. And I'm Alan. And we are here to talk to you about what is identity? Why, why does the identity and access management world exist? And so with that, Alan, um, why does the why, why does world it of exist? identity and access management exist? So we got computers. And computers give us real world people who are trying to access resources on computers. Let's say a web app. Okay? In order for that web app to work with people, it needs to know who you are. It needs to know stuff about you. So traditionally, what ends up happening is they have a big database with all the information about that user. And so now when you log into the app, sure, you can get your email and you can get all of these things that this application knows about you and works with you. And we have a happy user out here. And that's really what the identity is there for, so that this digital app can know things about you and deliver content to you. So wait a second, that's just one app. If I want another app, what do I have to do in that, that old world? Oh, it's easy. We just do it again. <laughs> now that app knows about you too. So you have Joe Developer here developing identity in one app, uh -huh. and you have Joe Developer 2 here doing it in another app. What if I have a third Guess app? Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> we do it again. Of course, there's a little bit of a problem. Yeah, so basically, you're saying that, that, that in the old world, when developers built identity, they built it directly into the apps, and that doesn't seem terribly efficient. No, because there's a problem. Yep. Each one of these things may be storing different things about you. Yeah. So this one knows you as Joe, this one knows you as Jay, and this one knows you as Jonathan. And is there's no way to persist across these different apps? They separate applications. Okay, so that's a problem. So that's a problem. So what's the solution? The solution is identity. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> yes. Let's bring all of those different databases into one place. Right? Manage them centrally and then call that an identity. So we have one big shared database down here in our identity system so that all of these applications can get the information they need about this one single user. And the really cool part is now this one single user only has to tell the identity system who they are once. And they, so, and they can access any of these apps. Absolutely, because they've already told the identity system who they are. Cool. So, so in that world, the developer no longer has to worry about building identity into their individual apps. Absolutely apps. not. They, they can utilize identity from the identity framework. framework. And that's the importance of identity. Mm -hmm.